What's up guys? Today I'm doing a tutorial how to remove your brake calipers. As you can see, I already did a few of the steps. What you do is take these thing the jigs off of each side. And you get a hex bolt, 7mm. Go ahead and undo this bolt right here. You want to make sure that once you get the caliper off, you don't let it dangle on the brake line. You want to have something to hold on to it, like a zip tie or some sort of hanger. Because if you let it dangle on the brake line, it will damage you. Okay, so there's the first piece. Make sure to keep track of all of your parts. Then the next piece is on the bottom right here. So, and there you go. Now that you got this piece on, piece off. All you gotta do is just pop the thing right out, and there you go. And what you want to do is you want to clean this mess out. All right, you don't want it to be looking all like that. So now that you got your old old piece out, before you put the new piece in, uh, shoot. okay, just set it down right here. All right, where's my? Now you got your old piece out. What you want to do? Is use the old brake pad and compress that piston in there. And as you can see, the piston is compressing. There you go. Once it starts to get tight, that means it's nice and compressed. So now that you compress the piston, Out. Go and take this old thing in the jig out. Then get your new pads. Wherever gold. You know, it don't matter how you open the box. Just Break it open if you have to. Alright. Pads. You can't really get it wrong. Wait. It's in there on the right side, right? 
Is it? Yeah, it's on the right side. I think so. Yeah, it should be. Alright. So now, take the caliper. Kinds are different. So, so what happens if they don't? If they don't have like the same brake pads. What if they have like another like type of um? It's the right type. I did it on. No, I mean like, what if the other? I <laughs> also, the light isn't helping. It's just making it more of a lot. That's it. Just to make sure you want to go ahead and do the bottom side as well. things right in just like that there you go now that you got all that stuff done now you're on to your last step you put in your new spring nice and shiny like this I think it's the only people that have that were Ford and Mazda <laughs> Well, whatever. Anyways, now just stick those things in there. Right. Now that we got the new spring on, now all you got to do is just put the new wheel on there. So, new wheel? Not the new wheel, but the wheel. Right. And I highly recommend that you change your rotors, but I don't have rotors right now. So. When I get my rotors, I might do a tutorial video on how to change your rotors too. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Now, take your hand down the wheel. Got the wheel on there. You want to take your handy dandy torque wrench and set it to 100 foot pounds of torque. Got your torque wrench. I'll go ahead and torque it now. And it doesn't have to be this snap on torque wrench. You can use any torque wrench just as long as you get it to 100 foot pounds of torque. And once it clicks, you don't have to turn it anymore. It clicked twice. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay, that's fine.
right, just to double check. You got it torqued down. Now what? Yeah, I just gotta put the cover back on the master set. So. And yes, I am aware I forgot to include that in the beginning. I apologize. You but took the brake cap, blew cap off? Yeah, that's the mouse. That's the master cylinder. All right. And you take that off to relieve the pressure so it will be easier to compress the piston in the brake caliper. Uh, so, <laughs> now that you've done that, go ahead and put all of your bolts back. Not bolts, um, put all your tools back. You need to tell the people how to put the tools back. <laughs> uh, you don't have to show that, but go and close that up. Then take the top cap back on. 